welcome to Life with Steph. I am Steph. So, to start off this little series for the month, um, we're going to be doing March Madness, even though obviously the NBA is in a little bit of a pause, but we're just going to go ahead and roll with it. Um, and today we're actually going to be talking about Lavelle Felton. So he was an American professional basketball player and he was actually playing abroad. He was a part of the European basketball leagues. So here at home, when he was in high school, he attended Madison High in Milwaukee. And there he was playing basketball, then he went on to college. And in college, he played for Louisiana Tech University Bulldogs. So he started his basketball career, his professional basketball career, in Turkey. He was in their basketball league, and he played with them for two years. Then from Turkey, he moved on to Greece, and then France. And then finally, he started playing for Germany. While he was playing in Germany, um, their team did end up reaching the playoffs. So fast forward to August 12th, 2009. He was back home in Milwaukee and he was out celebrating with friends was about to sign a new contract with Germany so one of his friends claimed that he was really happy and he actually just really wanted to spend you know like days celebrating this which is a, a it's a it's something big so he wanted to celebrate 2 a.m. they were at a gas station and Felton was sitting in the driver's seat of the car and while he was in the driver's seat, he actually ended up getting shot. He died the following day, Thursday, at about 9.30 p.m. in a local hospital. And so it's not very well known what happened. Um... The story that his stepfather said was that they were out and so Felton actually had like an old school car and so they were out and about, he was in his car and then apparently another driver in an old school car came around him and the exact words that his stepfather said was the other car drove up acting the fool around his car, around Felton's car. So he ended up leaving. The The other driver ended up leaving. And then he came back and he was just shooting into the air, causing a commotion left and right. The gas station, they went on high alert and like shut down. They closed the doors, turned off the lights, all of that. So while all this distraction is going on, Felton is in his car and somebody, well, the guy that shot him kind of just like snuck around the car and ended up shooting at Felton. So right after all of this happened there's not really been any answers um no one is really sure as to what happened um even the witness that was with him his friend just said that he felt and just wanted to celebrate his new contract coming up um people you know left and right claiming like he was a good guy things like that so no one's come forward as far as um with evidence or suspects as to who it could have been um and it wasn't until years later that there was a new surveillance video that was released 
and in the video it shows that just before 2 a.m. Felton did pull up into this gas station him and his friend that were with him they were just chit-chatting with people that were at the gas station as well then they got back in their car and in the video it's shown that Felton is in fact in the driver's seat looks like they're going to you know they're getting ready to leave and the car just starts slowly inching forward and it does hit a parked car and they say that that when that happened when it started inching forward that's when Felton was shot so his friend who was in the passenger seat he did jump out of the car realize what had happened and he jumped out of the car and ran off to get help but there's still not been anyone that's come forward even though there were people around um no one's really come forward and he did actually have kids so he had a five-year-old stepson a four-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter with his girlfriend and so on the scene they did discover uh multiple bullet holes and casings that were just scattered ar around the parking lot around the scene so according to evidence and everything the detectives do believe that they know where the shooter was so they believe that he was firing from the south to the north and so probably not necessarily in the gas station but more like a yard that was adjacent to the gas station is where they believe that the shooter was and the gun itself was actually not recovered until years later um, completely separate investigation led them to the northwest side which is where they discovered it and so part of the rest of the surveillance video is um, there's a group of people that are standing around after Felton has been shot. But police have actually not been able to get in contact with these people, get their statements, even though they believe that they could have vital information for discovering who it was that murdered this father basketball player son they've not come forward they can't get their testimony there was some people that claimed that he had actually gone in a disagreement with somebody before he got to the gas station which could possibly be how they were saying about somebody rolling up in a car acting a fool so that's another account that people believe that They'd, there had been a previous disagreement earlier in the night and then somebody just caught up to him after and so if that was the situation it was more just they were targeting him for because of this disagreement not necessarily because they knew who he was or because they knew he was Lavelle Belton um, it's possible that to them he wasn't Lavelle Felton he was just somebody that they had had a disagreement with earlier but again like I said no one really is sure as to what happened so this happened in 2009 over a decade now that they've been receiving tips however all of these tips have not really led to any arrests or convictions or really even having a clear idea of what it is that happened and what caused somebody to go and murder this young man so there's been no charges and no suspects so far so let me know what you guys think i had no idea um about this case whatsoever and i am excited to go over other cases that are revolving the basketball world 
Um, so stay tuned for those. I will try to get those up as soon as possible. Um, but be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, share. You can check out all of my social media that will be linked down below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.